has faced the brunt of it, as our report shows. In a tumultuous turn of events, Indian city of Chennai grapples with torrential rainfall, inundating streets and prompting widespread closures. Authorities have taken decisive action, shutting schools and offices. Coastal areas face evacuation as the cyclone turns severe. Due to this uh, cyclone, during last 24 hours, many places recorded heavy to very heavy and one or two places extremely heavy rainfall also occurred. Now, the, over the districts Chennai, Thiruvallur, Kanjibam, Chengalpet, the heavy rainfall and strong winds are likely to continue till today night. An orange alert river berates along the South Indian state of Andhra Pradesh and North Tamil Nadu Puducherry coasts as cyclone Migjom intensifies, poised for a noon landfall. Cyclone Migjom, in the form of Severin Cyclone, in the forenoon of December 5, will hit the Andhra Pradesh coast and will make the landfall. The speed of the cyclone that time will be between 90 to 100 kilometers per hour. The wind speed 90 to 100 kilometers per hour, gusting to 110 kilometers per hour. Flight operations suffer with flooded runways, cancellations, and diversions compounding the chaos. East Coast Railway mirrors the disruption, cancelling 60 trains in preparation for Migjom's impact. As per the advice of South Central and Southern Railway, uh, about 60 trains have been cancelled. As the region braces for Cyclone Migjom, Central and State Relief Forces spring into action. A contingent of 21 NDRF members stands ready at Machali Pantam Shore, ready to tackle any potential crisis. The gravity of the situation prompts comprehensive preparation review meetings at both state and central levels, underscoring the collaborative efforts to mitigate the cyclone's impact. A COP28 president, uh, Sultan al Jaber defended his role in hosting this year's UN Climate Summit on Monday. He said that he respected the science of climate change and called on parties to build a consensus. A report also released on Monday said that developing countries would be needing 2.4 trillion US dollars a year to make a clean energy transition. Here's a report.